Aww, I so this just happened. Look, so with 21 Grammy Awards under his belt, one might think it was easy for Kanye West to break through as a rapper. But many in the industry try to pigeonhole him into only being a producer. Speaking on the Coda collection with Andrew Barber, Lupe Fiasco recalled a time that Arista Records executive Ellie Reed dissed Kanye's rhyming ability. We brought Ye and the Arista to, to, to uh, showcase for L.A. Reed before wow. Rockefeller, right? And like Stack Bundles was sitting there. So imagine it's me, Stack Bundles, and Kanye, L.A. Reed <laughs> in the office. And, and Ye that. And when, when he left, <laughs> so when he stopped, L.A. was like, yo, you should stick to making music. You stick to making beats. Oh. <laughs> Real right? Real so that's why I always honor Ye, no matter how crazy he goes. I, I, I've seen that man struggle, right? Right, like, yeah. And like, it ain't good enough. And him just working through it. Lupe actually met a young Kanye back in 2000 when he produced The Truth for Beanie Siegel, and they wound up working together on tracks in the subsequent years while Yeezy bounces rap ideas off of Lupe. Kanye then signed with Rockefeller Records and broke through with the release of his debut, The College Dropout, in 2004, and nothing was the same from there on out. The two Chicago natives' largest collab to date came in 2005 with late registration standout Touch the Sky. But yeah, what did you guys think? Did you know that L.A. Reid told Kanye West to just stick to making beats? Let us know your thoughts in the comment section below. Hit that subscribe button and notification button to stay up to date on all of our new videos. And as always, make sure to keep it all the way locked to hiphopdx.com.